everybody, this is your boy DJ Chase Mo, and I'm back again with yet another video. Um, uh, today we're gonna be talking about um, tech, we're gonna be talking about lighting. Um, so I bought this um, Chinese lights a while ago, and um, I use uh, my DMX uh, 2.1 software right now, but I have the 2.0 box, and um, you know I love it. I, I have done a lot of, you know, huge events with that lighting box. Um, um, they have they just released the 3.0, which is uh, better. Uh, but, uh, you know, right now I haven't bought the 3.0 yet, but I'm using the 2.1 software. And um, this here, I'm going to be showing you how to make a profile on the uh, scan library on the MyDMX 2.1 software. The 2.1 software is compatible with the uh, 2.0 box. So if you have that box, I'm going to show you how to run, how to uh, create a simple uh, 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 what you profile of your light. You don't have to uh, call um, you know, American DJ and, and sometimes you don't get the best profiles from them. Uh, especially for Chinese lights because you know they're Chinese lights they're cheaper uh, but you can get a lot done with them if you especially you know how to get in there and get the right profile so I am going to show you how to create a profile of a bar light a bar light is somehow more complicated than a, than a regular Par 64 LED mainly because if you want to get in there and really control your bar light you can have uh, different um, um, uh, about four beam uh, beams in one bar light meaning it's kind of like you have four lights in one uh, so I'm going to show you how uh, to pro uh, to program that on your scan library and you're going to see how you can really make your bar light um, um, uh, do well there's also a video right here that I'm going to be showing you uh, them talking about the bar light and where you can buy it on the eBay so if you can if you're going to buy the bar light this video is for you if you're using American DJ uh, my DMX software this video is for you because then you can learn how to create a profile and um, you know if you have a different light if you have the same light you can just email me and uh, I'll just I'll just send you the profile you know because I have it I already made it I can just email that to you and uh, so now if you buy the light you're gonna have the full access to the full uh, capabilities of that light all right so let's jump right to it so now we're looking at the LED um, 320 LED light bar um, we are looking at the um, uh, what, you, what you call the um, the LCD section here and um, on the LCD section here let me put my phone on focus I apologize I'm using my phone today um, and um, so this is the LCD screen right here uh, you have the up down Form of a enter and uh, another button. Uh, there we go. Okay, so you have your up down, which is um, taking your light to the different programming in here. Um, you have sound mode. If you want this to just go with the beat, that sound mode you can just set it there. And as you as the beat pounds and the light starts changing, you can see that thing is cycling right here. There we go. It's you know, so that's sound mode. We're not looking into that today. Um, so I like just putting everything back to zero um, so that if you have problems, it's easier for you to troubleshoot. So try to keep all these other, other um, programming to zero. Um, like we have the um, um, so it's this right here. Let me start from here. Uh, you see, A. Uh, D, C, E, P, H, and those those letters there are form of DMX um, DMX entries. So this will go all the way to 512. So it is a DMX entry. I don't know why they did that, which is quite confusing. So 
I had a problem with figuring that out for a while. So you need to set your, if you want to take advantage of your capabilities of this light, you want to set this to, uh, now we're still cycling. I'm just pressing the up button. We're cycling to the, um, to get to. So you can tell this is a professional light. It has a lot of programs. I'm just cycling between the different programs. All I can tell you, just play around with the light and you can see what different things do. These are all preset programming and uh, they will make your light just do different things. Um, and you don't have control over that. Like I say, that's the sound mode, slave mode. Um, and now we're getting into DMX and you're going to leave your light at E for Elephant 001. Um, once you do that, uh, this light doesn't have an enter button. So you just do that and it, uh, it will automatically save that. And I uh, see, you can see now it's gone. And um, after a while, it, the LCD just goes off. I think it's saving power or something. Uh, but either way, um, that's entered now. The next time you turn off the light and turn the plug and use it for another show, it will come back in that same um, uh, programming. So you leave your light at E001. Um, when we do that, we're going to be able to use this light like you're having four lights. So we're going to be able to utilize four beams and you can program them separately. I'm going to show you here very soon. So um, uh, so now to try to plug this in, you use the DMX in, plug in your DMX cable in from your my DMX box here. And this is the out, DMX out. Um, and uh, plug in the USB cord to your um, to your laptop. So we need to fire up my DMX. Let me just come out of this. Uh, nope. Um, so now here's my computer. I am going to fire up my my DMX 2.1. Um, it's loading on my ASUS computer, uh, and it's loaded. So that's what you get when you get when you're loading my DMX software. And um, so here is where all your profiles for all your lights are. Now that we have a Chinese light, you're not going to be able to patch your profile because you don't have it. So what do you do? Um, first things first, you need to know um, the different, uh, if you don't have the manual for your light like I did not have, you need to first know what does your light do. So by doing that, remember this is um, like you have a, a physical board. This is a controller. So all you start doing here is start turning all this up one by one, one by one. What we're doing is we're trying to see what will the light do. So right now, there's nothing happening on the light nothing is happening so we're gonna keep doing that um, until something happens I don't think this light will be more than a 16 channel so you're only gonna be able to do this up to 16 or you know something under 20 um, so keep doing that until something happens oh guess what something is happening so I think number 14 right here is my beam so number 14 is my dean. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is bring all this other stuff down. Okay. And this is going to be a, a wow here. Okay. Let me bring all of them down here. I am using my phone and holding and, you know, using one hand to do all this. Uh, so now I have brought everything down. So now now we know that um, number 14 is your dim. So that turns your light on and off. So you turn that on and this should be your, your red on your fast bank. And this is what I'm talking about. You can see now this is how big your bar light is, but you have control over that bank. So I'm gonna turn red on another bank so usually this goes R G B which is red green blue that's the first bank 
this should be red on the second back. And guess what? I'm gonna turn another color. I'm gonna turn uh, blue on so that you, uh, green so that you can see the difference. So now you have red and green. Uh, and as we can go on doing that, I can. Uh, so that's R G B, and this is red, green, blue, and that's your uh, second. No, third. Um, that's your third, uh, what do you call it, uh, bank, and uh, they call it beam, and I can turn green on the second one. So now, um, we can have this, do red, green, blue, and green. Or, if you have a lot of these lights, you can just have just one. Let's say the middle one, and you can turn it to be blue, uh, and, and not have, or have this, the rest of them on low intensity red so that you kind of create a very nice effect here uh, let's see so now I have the uh, maybe the two middle ones let me see here let me see here so the middle one is that and that and turn everything else down uh, that's green red red and more blue hey, what is that doing so we could do something like that two reds in the, on this on the left and right and a blue in the middle well there's a red in there anyway you kind of get what I'm saying your bar light becomes like a bunch of lights and that's how you want to control your bar light because you know, you want to take control, uh, you want to be able to utilize all the functions of your bar light. That's why you bought it. Um, so, now that we know that, uh, you can grab a book. And, uh, yeah, my handwriting ain't the best. So, now we have four banks. Bank 1, RGB for the fast, you know, beam 1, beam 2, beam 3, beam 4. Number 13 is a strobe. Number 14 is dim. So, now this is what your profile should look like let's jump onto my DMX and make that all right so now we are going to uh, turn all these things down um, you don't have to but anyway I'm trying to look on my phone and try to do this so hey okay here we go this is a 3d thing there and that's your effects engine focus so you want this. This is your scan library. My DMX have been so nice to us, and they have um, they have uh, given us a way to um, uh, program um, to create your own profile. So once you hit the scan library, it's gonna load, and you can see that it's loading all the profiles and everything. 2016 loading 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 this takes a while and uh, so it's still loading all the presets and stuff uh, it's moving pretty decent speed uh, it's almost done here and boom that's what you get now uh, you get a bunch of this stuff here uh, the color wheel and stuff so we're going we want to convert this to that so now this video is almost at 10 minutes now, so I need to move faster. That's not a beam, it's an object, set as an object. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna be able to show you all these things, I'm just, uh, I put this on the far end, far end, and press enter, and uh, so it's a beam. Uh, like you're showing, we have four beams. You want to uh, take that out and put four. Uh, so that it appears that way so that you can control all the four beams separately uh, It's an LED. How many watts is it? Uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna, not even gonna enter that stuff right now beam angle I'm just gonna leave it like that right now. So what we know that this thing has four RGB so you're gonna here is the RGB you're going to press one two three Four. So now we have four RGBs. Um, so now we're going to um, put here. See there, it's saying beam all. 
you want to change that to beam one so you want to right click that uh, and then come there and it gives you the opportunity to deselect all and just put one and when you do that so now that becomes beam one number two becomes beam one so all your rgb for the fast beam have changed and now here let me drop that down it's saying all so you need to do the same thing to that deselect to all put it on number two and that just does that so now we need to not do that um so now you have four five six beamed to number two or changed to number two so um so that's four five six so seven eight nine is your second one that is your third one you need to change it deselect it from all and put it on number three and your your third beam has been set it just changes all rgb at the same time so now your rgb for the last beam which is beam number four needs to be changed you right you not right click it you left click it and um you deselect all and you select number four and so now we have effectively set your beams to be controlled uh you know with the uh, with the my dmx 3.0 software so now as you remember here um, number 13 is strobe so now we have done our gb i mean we've done now uh, beam one two three four and we need to do the strobe and the dim so now uh, you need to find strobe um, here, which is this lightning thing here. Press that. Um, one up. That you can always, if you, if it goes in the wrong place, you can always pull it down to where you want it. We want it on number 13. All right. So now strobe is on number 13. You need to do something else about the strobe. Uh, you need to um, press. Uh, this right here if you if you sell it if you run it if you just put the mouse on top of each icon it will tell you what it does so what do we need to do with a strobe we need it to open and it says shutter open we need it to strobe and there is strobe so we need to strobe it wait why did strobe to come out two times you can just delete it so you need to shutter open, shutter um, to strobe, and then you need to close. Uh, wait, tell me close, close, close. There we go. Uh oh, I did it again, trying to do all this with one hand. So now you have on your dim, I mean on your uh, uh, strobe, you have the shutter to open at zero, the shutter to strobe all the way through. 223 where it closes um, anyway I, that happens to just uh, if you don't do it that way it, it was giving me an error message now I don't know whether 100% that's what you're supposed to do but all I know is that it works so that's how I'm doing it it doesn't have to be that's the way it's done but that does not give you an error message so now we have 15 minutes we need to really get this video done um, we need to now put the last here, which is the beam number 14, which turns all your beams on and off. So here, we're going to go and look for dim, which is right there, uh, dimmer. And uh, we want just a simple dimmer right here. When you do that, it enters, but it wants you to add something else. So you have to select what type of dimmer you want. So we want the simple one. I don't want nothing complicated. I'm not a lighting program. I'm just trying to get by a show. And uh, so now, when you have all this beam one, beam two, beam three, beam four set up on your RGBs, and you have your shutter or your strobe set up and your sh and your dimmer set up, all you have to do here is go to your file up here and hit file and save as, and you're going to save as new. And uh, we're going to save this. I already have it, but I'm just going to save it and show you how to recall it. So we're going to save it LED bar YouTube test. And I am going to save it on the general folder 
on uh this pulls you go takes you straight to the scan library of your um of your my dmx software so you don't have to do a lot and uh so you just hit save and it's saved so now you can x out of this uh scan library and um you're back to your regular screen um so now we need to go back to setup right here and uh we need to recall that um setting that we just did so i as you as i, as I told you i put it on the main um i put it on the main uh page so when i scroll down here i should be able to see it but oh it's not there so why not this is the one i made led bar so how, what do you do uh, it does not appear on your scan library. You have to add it to your scan library. How do you do that? You go to this icon right here, import. You hit import. It takes you to something that I don't know what this is. So you need to find your my DMX software on your scan library. And oops, it's right here. If you hit uh, scan library, it was right on my left side. You need to scroll all the way down. Remember, we put it on the root file of my DMX on the scan library. And guess what? It's right there. YouTube tests. We just created this, me and you right now. And um, so now it's not going to patch. Now you need to do that again. You need to scroll all the way down. And it's right there, LED by YouTube test. So you 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 click on it and since we only have one light you can put the change however number of fixtures you want um, and you want it to start on number one that's what I've done you can put it on number 20 whatever you want so we're gonna hit patch and now that's your LED bar right there so now you go back to editing mode um, so now that's what you get uh, RGB and your and your dim is right there so we want to turn our dim on and so now by doing that uh, first things first your light is working uh, your light is working with all the separate beams but this video was mostly and and the strobe is working the strobe is working you can see it's working properly it's you know, you scroll it all the way up, it starts doing that, and it's it's strobe is working, you know? Um, so now that all that is working, we want to be able to use our effects engine, which is that little icon right here, where the, my mouse is. So you hit effects engine, and guess what? You have all your four beams. Uh, so all you have to do, remember, uh, let me go back here, you have to turn your dim on, all right? So since you have your dim on, you can now choose what you want to do here, and you can just, uh, oh, am I not be able to hit shift here and do this at the same time? Once you hit uh, control, sorry, I got cut out. So once you hit um, control and uh, your mouse to uh, whatever beam you want to turn on, uh, you can quickly choose a color that you want your lights on uh, so you have your color wheel here you can turn it uh, however you want as you can see here now your lights are actually responding and it's like you have uh, let's set that to like a blue mixture uh, let's set it to like a solid blue and you can do the same thing hit shift uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand it's not easy um, hit shift on that one and on the other one and now that's on three four when you do that uh oh okay I shouldn't have done that anyway you kind of get the idea um, you can only do this on like two of them control control um, man my computer screen is like showing everything here Showing all my little secrets. Control. Um, that, that. Anyway, it's easier to kind of do it manually. But anyway, you can change now the two colors of those two lights there. And you can have them on green. And you have a very fancy, uh, let me turn these umbrellas on. 
uh, off. I mean, and you can see there, um, let's angle this properly. Your light has a very cool um, effect. You know, you can, and you're controlling that by a DMX. So, um, let's show you how to do the effects engine. So now you're creating a scene and you have that set up and you want to go to effects, uh, hit the FX there and you want to use the color matrix and uh, you know, do take something like that. Once it's selected, it appears there. So you can tell once I do it, one of those lights is responding to it. The more you pull this to cover to all your um, lights, and all of a sudden you got the party going and that's a nice scene right there see that let me change it to another one which is uh the, the this one right there and your light is responding and doing some nice slow fades right there and um let's do another one let's do the fire you can change all the parameters here but i don't have the time to do that i've already gone too long and it's, it's professionally showing you everything it's doing and what it's doing there, it's doing here. So the profile is a legit profile, it gets the job done. You can do some uh, color mixing, you can do some craziness here, like, uh, you know, that, that just makes the light do all that red and black. Um, you know, there's, you, know, you got everything here and that's doing a spiral effect. So imagine if you have, if you're using all your, all my bar lights, um, you know? So anyway, so that's how you set an um, effects using the profile we just created. If you like what it's doing right now, you just hit the check there and you do like to create a new scene, yes. And uh, we have a new scene now. Uh, we're gonna call this scene YouTube. Um, and uh, once you, so now it won't do it um, until you go to live mode and what you gotta see on our brand new uh, profile for our LED bar, 320 LED bar. Alright, so I am out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, I know it's a pretty lengthy video, uh, but uh, I hope you were able to uh, kind of get how to create a profile. So if you had a different light and uh, you needed to do the same thing, it's not that hard. Uh, it's the same thing with moving lights. Uh, I'm gonna do a video soon. A friend of mine will be buying some moving Chinese moving lights and they're gonna bring them to me. And I'm gonna learn how to program them and do a video for you guys how to program a moving light. Um, so this just opens up a whole new ball game. You can buy Chinese lights and get them done and get them to work with your my American DJ, my DMX. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, also go to our, our, our channel and subscribe to this channel. You're going to be getting a lot of these videos, uh, instructional videos on how to do stuff, lighting, sound. And uh, please go and check all our other videos. Again, this is your boy DJ Chase Mode with the Dream Entertainment. And uh, yes, we got the 320 LED light bar uh, working behind me and uh, running with my DMX. 2.0 and uh, we're using the 2.1 software. All right, DJ Chase Mode, I am out and God bless.